All right, I've talked before about ecosystem services or benefits that are provided by trees in the urban landscape. So I'm at a greenway here, and this sapling, or is not a sapling anymore, is it? No, it's a young tree. It's providing some services in terms of carbon capture into the woody tissues, although it is a sickly tree. It is not being managed for high health, and that makes its ability to capture carbon compromised. The canopy looks pretty good. So as an air filter, it's doing really well. And um, in terms of stabilizing the soils and potentially sucking up uh, any of the toxins that are coming in from the water runoff in that drainage system behind all that shrubbery, uh, the tree is probably helping with that as well. This tree here that is larger and older, it's providing more ecosystem benefits and services. And that's just because it's accumulated a lot more carbon in that wood. What is wood made of? Lots of carbons chained together, massive amounts. And the canopy is pretty healthy. So all in all, providing us a lot of benefits in addition to shade, which is really nice on hot summer days, and beauty, which makes this a place for people to want to come to bike and run. One more issue. So, here we have kudzu. Because of the way we finance the management of our greenways and parks sometimes in our municipalities, we have little time and resources to make sure that our trees are maximally producing benefits for us instead of slowly dying, costing the city more money to replace, to take down and replace. And we need to also allocate those resources to Parks and Rec. Those resources include knowledge as well as money to get rid of things like kudzu. Because kudzu is just going to, as you can see, eat the entire greenway. So the greenway is already struggling for biodiversity just because it's next to many, many yards with a lot of invasive plants that have been planted years ago or, or yesterday. And so the birds bring those seeds in, oftentimes of the wind, and the greenways, because they are kind of a struggling place, a difficult place to live, they're really easy for things like invasive plants and not so easy for the indigenous flora. Again, with management, we can change that. It means an investment, and I will talk in the next video about why that investment is worthy, um, both in terms of educating the workforce, training or hiring managers, and um, then just investing in the actual work.